All right, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Now I know it's been a hot ass minute since I've made a video, but I kind of want to just get you guys up to speed on everything that I've been doing. Just because I haven't been making videos doesn't mean I haven't been working and wrenching on my cars, my Jeep. And there's one big change, and that is that the Daytona is no more, but we got a really good replacement. So let's go ahead and uh, dive right in. All right, first order of business is the CJ7. As you guys can see, I got the hard top on there. It was painted by DJ, same gentleman that painted the Dodge Challenger. We got the eggshell white going on on the inside. We got the matte black on the outside with some texture. Challenger time. Uh, not a lot of changes, but we are gonna deep dive. Just kind of tinkering with some wiring, some new headlights on the inside. We're gonna be changing the steering wheel probably next week. Uh, and I'll give you guys a nice deep walkthrough. I do have new rear control arms for Speed Logics. Shout out to Speed Logics for supporting us um, to get all that negative, uh, excessive negative rear camber out and we get some positive camber. So I'm super excited for that. So we'll probably do that in the next couple of weeks, get a nice fresh alignment. But the big change is of course, the TRX. So let's check it out. All right guys, I'm hiding next to the truck because the wind is kind of crazy right now, but as you saw from that cinematic sequence, that's my 2021 Ram TRX. It is a level two package. It absolutely needed to be a level two because of the safety features uh, for when Ashley drives the truck. And I wanted the Harman Kardon sound system, the full panel roof, which I think they all come. Nope, they don't, they don't, just lying. Um, and what else did I really want? The tow package. That's like it was super important to have a tow package with the built-in trailer uh, trailer brake. It's not a big deal that it, if it didn't come with a trailer brake, you can add one. But I love just how clean the uh, OE trailer brake looks because it's integrated with the rest of the system. There you see my iPhone. You see my uh, Pit Vipus right there. But I just love how clean uh, that looks right there. Uh, aside from that, got the Ram all-weather uh, floor mats in the front and in the back. A uh, little peek at that Harman Kardon right there. The uh, full panel roof. Of course, we got the uh, baby seat base right there. This is the camera setup. Put that down for a second. I want to show you guys. Um, the center console in the back seat is actually pretty sweet. The suede matches uh, the front right there. You got the two cup holders and there's a little bit of space here to put uh, some stuff but nothing too crazy i'm not trying to do like a full-blown uh video review on the trx there's like a trillion of them already on the internet and i did say that i wasn't going to mod this truck that's slowly and ever fading away uh, so the first thing i'm gonna do which i really wouldn't consider it a mod more of a preventative maintenance is an oil catch can so i'm actually about to add an oil catch can and if I have enough time today, I'm going to go ahead and paint the front and rear tow hooks in red. I think that's the final kind of, this is a little touch that I just want to see a little more red. You saw on the back of the TRX, I added the little T-Rex emblem that I really like. Uh, there's a little T-Rex is red. The start engine stop is red as well. So I just want to bring just a little more red uh, to the outside of the truck. So let's get started. All right guys, it's the next day. I had to run some errands yesterday, plus I needed to wait for the paint to essentially just dry on those tow hooks. Uh, so I wrapped that up. That's finally done. Let's check it out real quick. Truck right here in front of me. Let me take a step back actually so y'all can see. Got the red tow hooks done up. All I did was use high heat caliper paint. When I pulled them off, I did wash them, get all that dirt off and then i used a heat gun to heat them up because it's not exactly warm out it's like 55 60 degrees so i heated them up before i sprayed them it's actually 
actually drizzling a little bit. Show you the back real quick. And there's the back. So again, red tow hooks match the red uh, TRX right there. So yeah, pretty happy. And it was like seven dollars and some elbow grease. Okay, so I did install the oil catch cam, but it literally took like it took less than five minutes. So there's really no uh, deep how to on how to do that. It's I uh, used the JNL oil separator, oil catch cam and uh, uses this factory 10 mil bolt to hold the bracket and then these two Phillips uh, screws to hold the actual can up in place. You remove the, uh, the tube from the PCV to the supercharger and then you plug the two hoses in and that's that. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video because uh, I gotta actually start working on the Challenger. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually put this bad boy on my rollers because I'm gonna start moving this thing side to side, forward and back. And now the Jeep runs and drives, so I don't gotta put this on rollers. Now it's the Challenger's turn because we got some secret, not so secret, kind of secret stuff going on with this front suspension. So I'll fill you guys in on the next video. But right now I gotta get to work because I gotta get these parts to uh, Milo at RMS, Resto Mod Shop. And then I gotta get ready to go ahead and put those uh, Speed Logics billet rear control arms on the rear, which I will do a video on that. That might be the next video. And then we're gonna go ahead and change out that steering wheel again. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride so you guys know how to change out your steering wheel from uh, something close to OEM like I have right here. It's kind of dark. But you guys know I got the Vicrest LED forged carbon wheel, but I'm gonna switch it for something more race related like my full uh, suede status wheel this was the deep dish one but i'll show you guys how to do something like that on your mopar if you're tracking it road racing it kind of drift it up to you i'll help you guys out so you guys know the deal i'm back working on the challenger on jeep got a trx if you like these videos hit that like button smash that subscribe button and let me know what you want to see trx or srt challenger in the comments below until next time guys peace out